Welcome back. Happy Thanksgiving from Tom's Garage. What is going on? Boy, I tell you, it's kind of cool today. Woo. Woo. Man, this is my Thanksgiving video. This is what I am thankful for this year. It has been a crazy year, man. I tell you, this is uh, probably one of the most interesting years I've ever had. It really, 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 really is. Uh, what I want to be thankful for, or what I want to give thanks for, is me and mom's health. Uh, give thanks for our, our little home we got. And, uh, ooh, it's cold. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of lucky now because I get to spend, you know, every day here with her full time since I've gone full time in the shop. I'm grateful for that. Uh, you know, let's see, what else? Uh, you know, I'm grateful for, you know, over the past few years, all the all the friends I've made on YouTube, it's, it's crazy. Uh, you know, all the, all the folks in the mower repair community, you know, all the folks in the lawn care community, uh, you know, I'm so grateful for the for those friends that I've made there, and and a lot of them, I've got to meet and go to their house, uh, you know, more than once. So that's that's pretty cool there. Uh, and uh, you know, watching a lot of you guys' videos on YouTube, you know, when I, you know, that's that's, I ain't gonna say I'm most grateful for for getting to go full time and, and you know, this, this shop, how can I put this? It's, uh, I'm grateful for it, but there's a heck of a lot more things to be grateful for than a, than a lawnmower shop. And, and I am, uh, you know, friends and family, you know, we got our health. I got a couple of nice, you know, decent vehicles. They're old enough to buy alcohol, but still there, I've kept them up. So we got a couple of good, Dependable cars. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got plenty of food. Plenty of food. Uh, you know, I'm I'm so grateful for my subscribers and uh, and everybody that watches my videos. I'm grateful for that. Uh, you know, Thanksgiving. I, I was never. How can I put this? Uh, I've never properly give thanks to the Lord. I've never, I've never been. I don't want to say religious, but you know when I. It goes back to my to my shop. It affords us everything we need: healthcare, food, shelter. But this year means a whole lot more to me than than other years um you know somebody asked me a while back what finally made you take the plunge and 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 go full-time in your shop well you know you know i i left a 21 year career where i was making pretty good money and uh, I guess about eight or 10 years ago, I had, uh, I had my spine fused. And last year, the specialist told me I had three herniated discs above that. Uh, a few years ago, I had, had to have my shoulder surgery. I had uh, carpal tunnel surgeries about four years ago. And uh, a couple of years ago, I had my hip replaced. And I just couldn't. You know, and, and there's a couple other little health issues, you know, I deal with, I battle, but, you know, it's, it's managed. <laughs> and, and I just couldn't do that job anymore, and my shop was getting busy. And I think there is some divine intervention going on there. I really do. I got I to gotta really give thanks to the Lord for, uh, you know, having me do this and, and be so successful at it. Because I, I have got to give thanks for that because I have been hammered in this shop since middle of February. And it has afforded us, you know, 
we got to do a lot of upgrades on the house. You know, new roof, new water heater, supply line, filtration system. I, I spent a lot of money on the house, you know, being, you know, I was afforded to be able to do that. And uh, let's see, but, you know, there was a lot of, there was a lot of anxiety and stuff when I went full time. Um, because, you know, I've always been a decent mechanic, I would say, I, I, you know, I ain't gonna, you know, toot my own horn, but, uh, but I'm, I wasn't doing this full time for, for a long, you know, I've only been doing this since March full time, but I learned real quick. You could be a good mechanic. You can have good customer service skills, but you got one thing I learned watching a lot of the repair guys and, and mostly the lawn care guys was how to be a businessman. That's probably what helped me most is watching all the lawn care guys videos, you know, how to charge, how to deal with customers. Uh, so I learned a lot real quick by being thrown in, how to be a businessman. That's, that's, you know, that's, somebody asked me, what do you do for a living? Well, I, 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 I make money. <laughs> well, how do you do that? Well, I run this lawnmower shop. So, so I'm thankful for everybody out there on YouTube land that has helped me with uh, advice and, and tips and stuff over the past few years that was able to make me, uh, you know, you can have the customers, you can be good at what you do, but you got to be a businessman. And, and that has taught me, it's taught me a lot. You know, there's a lot of people that was in my shoes that just were not good at money and business and stuff like that and failed and this sink or swim. But, uh, and I am uh, so grateful for my customers. I had several of them. I, I had several of my customers, you know, along with friends and stuff like, you know, Mickey Tesner and, and, and Shane, you know, DLT and, and uh, you know, a lot of those closest friends of mine, they, they text me this morning, happy Thanksgiving. Like, well, that, that means a lot. But like I said, uh, several of my customers also texted me too. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, so this Thanksgiving means a whole lot more to me because of what I think the Lord done for me this past year. And I just, you know, working in that maintenance job, climbing ladders and slinging sledgehammers and, and crawling across rooftops, man, I just could not do that no more. Couldn't do it. I just have turned 50. There wasn't no way I can continue to do that. You know, I don't want to be a liability to myself or something like that. So I, anyway, I just I just left and, and I just took the plunge and went full time. And, and, and he has blessed me with so much work this year. I still got, like I said, a shop full right now. And uh, I had a few things written down here. I wanted to make sure I mentioned. Uh, let's see, let's see. And I was also able to buy a lot of new updated equipment and tools for the shop too you know toolbox blade grinders you know hand tools and you know just all kinds of stuff and that i that i needed that i needed and uh you know it goes back to when i was a kid thanksgiving day meant we can decorate man we can turn the christmas lights on we can hang the tree you know in the living room and we can do this and that and 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 for the first time in about four or five well it's been longer than that it's probably been a good eight years since i uh decorated and i spent all well most of the last week digging through the old shed out there uh hanging christmas lights all over the yard all over the yard all kinds of decorations i'm gonna have that in the video i think it's beautiful but that's the first time I've I've had the initiative to decorate in years it was because of this year and you know what I believe the Lord has done for me and and uh, you know I just feel like a kid again really you know you, you get excited about you know decorating Christmas lights all over your bushes and you know hanging 
lights in the trees and but I'm gonna do a video here in the next week or so after you know one night it gets dark and I'll I'll do a video about my Christmas decorations you know I even hung a bunch of Christmas lights in my shop I don't know how well they're showing up with all this bright light but I got three strands just everywhere and uh, I got my office decorated uh, yep and uh, well guys uh, and girls uh, don't forget uh, check out DLT lawn care tomorrow Friday about eight o'clock I reckon we're gonna do a we're gonna do a live stream and we're gonna have some good clean silly fun we like to do that's gonna be fun I always look forward to that and uh, you know I'm grateful for my good buddy probably my best friend I'd say uh, Johnny Reagan and uh, God there's so many others Rhonda and Randy they finally got moved into their new home it's beautiful and uh, I think they may join us tomorrow too on the live stream and uh, and and as always guys <coughs> don't do that again ah. keep it real and I love you guys and girls man thanks for supporting the channel and uh, you know we may do one night before Christmas we may do uh, one 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 night or maybe two or three if you feel like it. We may do a couple of live streams on, on this channel. I think that'd be fun to do again now that it's too cold to be out here and I'm getting pretty caught up, hopefully. But you can see all the all the stuff still lined up. I got stuff over there. I got stuff everywhere. Well, I tell you, it has been a banner year and you know, you just gotta, you just gotta give credit. You gotta give credit. And as always, guys, I love y'all. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your support. And y'all be good. I hope all of you had a good Thanksgiving. Love y'all.